Item number SCP-5981 Object Class Edifice Containment Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Each road leading into the supposed location of SCP-5981 has been closed off under the cover story that a chemical leak has rendered the area uninhabitable. Keyword Search Crawler Number 198 Operator is to remove any mention of Nuke City from the internet. The cadaver of SCP-5981-2 is to be kept frozen in the cadaver storage sector of Site-19 for further research. Description SCP-5981 is a fictional city named Nuke City, supposedly located on the intersection of U.S. Road 93 and U.S. 93 alternate. According to accounts, SCP-5981 was founded in the early 1940s but was the subject of a nuclear strike. Note, the perpetrator of this nuclear strike is inconsistent between accounts. Approximately 37% of those surveyed state that the nuclear strike originated from the Soviet Union. 31% blame Cuba. 21% assert that it was an accidental nuclear detonation by U.S. military personnel. 5% blame Australia. And 2% blame the Davite Empire, despite the fact that it did not exist at this point in time. Most surveyed or unable to produce geopolitical situations that would not only lead to the strike, but also not lead to a complete nuclear war. In 1966, destroying most of the city. However, most of the city's inhabitants survived this attack, only to become mutated. Despite the fact that mutations of this sort are often fatal, most of these mutations are often profitable, such as the growth of new, fully functional limbs. Of note is that SCP-5981 is not a mimetic agent. In fact, most subjects will not believe that SCP-5981 exists, and no future consequences will occur. Subjects who both believe that SCP-5981 exists and attempt to visit SCP-5981 will disappear from reality shortly after entering SCP-5981's city limits. It is of note that subjects who visit SCP-5981 with out being informed of SCP-5981's existence will not find SCP-5981, but rather an abandoned Department of Transportation building. After subjects leave SCP-5981, they will often... The survival rate of SCP-5981 is approximately 98.5% much higher, which would be expected for a site contaminated with nuclear fallout reappear in reality with memories of visiting SCP-5981. Occasionally, they will return with paraphernalia related to SCP-5981, designated SCP-5981-1. Some instances of SCP-5981-1 include t-shirts with slogans such as I survived Nuke City and will never forgive various nations for Nuke City. Files of nuclear byproducts. Photographic and video media. These do not appear to be doctored and show that Nuke City is a thriving suburban metropolis populated with mutated humans. Negotiable US currency supposedly won in SCP 5981's many casinos. Assorted paraphernalia from Nuke Slides which is supposedly SCP-5981's world-famous water park. Irradiated Rubble SCP-5981-2 See Incident Reports for more information. Aside from SCP-5981-2, none of the supposed students living in SCP-5981 have left the city. Additional Notes the original publication of SCP-5981 was in Season 13, Episode 7 of the animated sitcom Family Guy, titled Nuke City. 
In this episode, main character Brian Griffin begins. Uh, in this episode, main character Brian Griffin begins to date a woman who he later discovers to have been mutated to have girls. In spite of this, Brian still resolves to continue seeing this woman. Brian and his family are later invited to visit the woman's family in SCP-5981. After several minutes of hijinks, mostly due to Brian's owner, Peter Griffin, having infatuation with the city, the woman's father is revealed to have only invited the Griffin family in order to kidnap the family's baby, Stewie Griffin. The episode ends with the kidnapper being pushed into a nuclear reactor. This causes a nuclear explosion, which destroys SCP-5981 once again, but not before the Griffins escape. A full video transcript of this episode can be found in Document 5981 Griffin. This episode was met with general acclaim, and internet searches for Nuke City increased by over 5,000% after the episode aired. Seven minutes after the episode premiered on Fox, the website visitnukecity.com tentatively designated SCP-5981-A. The source of this website is unknown. The credit card for which the domain name was registered with was a burner, and the domain was registered under the name John Nuke City. SCP-5981-A has been taken down, and it has not appeared since. Appeared. Providing bus tickets to, tore us off, and paraphernalia related to SCP-5981. It is estimated that 200,000 civilians visited SCP-5981 before Foundation leadership realized that SCP-5981 was anomalous. Seth MacFarlane, the executive producer of Family Guy, was forced to produce a statement asserting that SCP-5981 was not real and simply an element of fiction. In addition, the Foundation encouraged the removal of the episode in question from public distribution, under the pretense that it encouraged dangerous activity. After three months, it was determined that public knowledge of SCP-5981 was low enough that more aggressive measures should be taken to suppress it. See Special Containment Procedures for current protocol. Shortly after this incident, the staff and crew of Family Guy were interviewed by the Foundation for information on SCP-5981. Most staff members asserted that SCP-5981 was real, and that the episode was an attempt to shine light on a lesser-known tourist destination. The sole exception was Seth MacFarlane, who explained that he had originally intended for the episode to be a homage to an earlier episode where the world of Family Guy was destroyed in a nuclear explosion, but the plot was modified by the writing staff due to fears of viewers not being able to recall the earlier episode. However, when under hypnosis, McFarlane revealed that he had been approached by a man clothed in black robes and a cone-shaped hood prior to the episode's conception. This man, whom McFarlane associated with a heavy sense of fear, instructed him to produce an episode about Nuke Town, specifically involving Peter Griffin murdering a resident by pushing them into a nuclear reactor. This memory has been suppressed via unknown means. Addendum Incident Reports Incident A Georgia resident Paul Beep did not return to reality after visiting SCP-5981. A letter was sent to Beep's family from the Nuke City Hospital explaining that Beep had been killed due to a motorcycle accident. Attempts to trace the origin of this letter failed. A similar incident has occurred for all people who have not returned from SCP-5981. Incident B. New Hampshire resident Jack Beep was severely hurt in a showdown with one of SCP-5981's street gangs, but survived. That analysis of Jack Beep after his visit to SCP-5981 showed an increased number of irradiated particles in his blood. In spite of this, 
No ill effects aside from gunshot wounds were noted. Incident C, Cartoon Network, a television channel created a contract with Radioactive Studios, an animation studio located in SCP-5981. Executives of Cartoon Network receive a tape containing an entire season of Dark Days, a cartoon revolving around three animated mutant dogs and their lives. This tape has been seized by the Foundation. Incident D, Nevada resident, Mary Beep disappeared from reality for a record seven months before returning pregnant. Beep had reportedly conceived a child with one of the mutants within SCP-5981. Beep was brought to Site-21 and the features was designated SCP-5981-2. SCP-5981-2 lived for 33 minutes after birth before perishing due to internal hemorrhaging and radiation sickness. It is of note that SCP-5981-2 was born with seven extra eyes and an additional organ resembling a liver. Genetic testing of the cadaver of SCP-5981-2 indicated three biological parents, none of which were Mary Beep. Incident E. During a wage dispute, a janitor pushed a plant worker into the nuclear reactor of SCP-5981's main power plant. This led to a chain reaction, causing the power plant to detonate, destroying a large portion of SCP-5981's area. He is then killed seven politicians, including Senator Leopold, who was visiting SCP-5981 in order to offer the city's grant for improved research on radiation sickness. A cover story for the deaths of the politicians have been fabricated and released to the public.